Our top story this morning, the deadly and destructive flooding in West Virginia. The death toll there has climbed to 23 and is expected to increase. West Virginia's governor has called in hundreds of National Guardsmen to help with search and rescue efforts. Yeah, the flooding destroyed several homes, uh, some torn from foundations and carried away by the swollen rivers and lakes. The trouble began on Thursday from heavy rains. On Friday, the body of a four-year-old boy was recovered after he was swept away in floodwaters just outside his home. Chris Van Cleve has more from the hard-hit community of White Sulphur Springs. Chris, good morning. Good morning. You can see the damage the Howard Creek did when it was raging. Debris is scattered as far as I can see. Homes have been destroyed. And police here in Greenbrier County say the bulk of those people who died in this storm lived here. This is ridiculous. This is all that's left of Chad Agner's home. It's completely gone, swept away by raging floodwaters Thursday night that tore through West Virginia seemingly out of nowhere. Pieces of the home next door ended up blocks away on the city's ball field. I figured there would be something left, you know, something standing, but there's nothing. Um, it's right there. <laughs> this is Vicki Witt's home. The flood ripped apart her neighbor's house and sent it crashing into hers. Okay, so we're not over, but we got out, so that's all that matters. Across the state, at least 100 homes have been seriously damaged or destroyed. It appears the river took over this mobile home park, and this house is resting partially in the street next to overturned cars. Roads have been ripped apart, and tens of thousands were without power. In just this one neighborhood in the small community of White Sulphur Springs, we counted more than a dozen homes destroyed. City police and paramedics spent Friday going door to door looking for survivors, or worse. Everyone knew it was going to rain. But no one knew there was going to be as devastating as it was. Mayor Lloyd Haynes. I can't even describe how heartbreaking it was. And the water's rushing down to you, and there's nothing you can do to help people. At least four of the dead are city residents who were pulled from their homes into Howard Creek. Do you feel lucky to be alive? Oh, yes. Very lucky. Mother of five, Nicole Lewis, was nearly one of them. But she managed to grab hold of this tree and withstand the punishing current for three hours. That had to be a tremendous amount of strength. How did you do that? I don't know. I just prayed to God and just kept my kids thinking about them. I had people over here talking to me, you know, saying they were calling, trying to get help, and I just held on. There was a couple times that I thought I was gone. The National Weather Service expected the rivers in West Virginia to crest overnight. The creek here has been dropping for about the last 24 hours, so focus increasingly on the cleanup here. Still, when you look at the 23 people dead, that's more than the people killed by tornadoes and lightning so far this year combined. Anne-Marie? So much devastation. Chris Van Cleve in White, Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Thank you so much, Chris.